So it looks like this whole Justin Hilarious back and forth with the Breakfast Club announcement and taking it back and did she get the job and did she get the job was like a whole promotional stunt. And then they did this promo of all the negative reactions that people were obviously kind of going to have to the back and forth. But it feels like you kind of created imaginary haters because I don't think a lot of people was rooting against Jess to get this job. But I'm going to play the promo for you. See for yourself. Where is Jess? Huh? I would think somebody like the Breakfast Club would need the clout chase. But knowing them, they probably want somebody light skin. Well, I'm Jess with the mess. My news is real. Jess Hilarious now comments on them saying these is trash. Y'all could have got somebody better than that. I'm not hating. They don't give a about what she's done. She made the announcement before it was even inked. That third seat on the Breakfast Club was one of the most sought after coveted positions in hip hop media. Less hilarious. You were using that Breakfast Club to besmirch my name, speaking so negatively. She ain't over there. She's back on the Monopoly board. Jess, man, you gotta get more going on in your career. I saw Jess Hilarious say she, you know, got the role and stuff. Why did she say that? They say you don't work there no more. Girl, did you get fired or not? How the hell are you gonna get fired on your day off? What happened to Jess Hilarious on The Breakfast Club? They either didn't hire her or fired her. The Breakfast Club just isn't what it used to be. They can either choose to put a new three in there or kill the show off completely. I think The Breakfast Club is over, man. You cannot make an announcement. They have rollouts. Party. They need to make this a extravagant. Women empowerment. And she did some Baltimore shit. They be going wrong. She spoke too soon. She announced her move before her move was done. And now she's left with an egg on her face. Lock it in, y'all. Jess Hilarious will not be the co-host of The Breakfast Club. This is all just like one big hoax. These trash. This came off as if the two of them had something to do as to why she isn't a part of The Breakfast Club. I'm sorry you didn't get the job, um, Less Hilarious. <laughs> do you feel she called them out over not securing her spot as an official co-host? Mm. This is giving me stunned, if you ask me. So this was like a mashup of all the so-called people that was like, oh, she ain't funny. She shouldn't have a third spot. We don't want her to be on the show. This was imaginary. Like, I would think that most people over this time, they're trying to figure out who the third host in place of Angelique Yee was going to be. I would think that most people thought Jess was the front runner. She clearly did a good job. Like, even though she had some opinions here and there that we wasn't rocking with, <clears throat> like, I wish well for her. I thought she fit the job. You know what I'm saying? As most people did. So, where's all this imaginary hate coming from? Like, obviously, y'all did the rollout where she announced it wrongly, right? And then this was this whole stir of, oh, she ain't up there no more. And why she ain't up there? Was she, did, she, did she get fired? Did she do the premature... And then now people start talking about it. For the most part, these comments was like coming from that. And then obviously people are going to have a kind of negative response. Like, oh, why would you fumble the bag? You fumbled the bag. You messed up the, you, you know, they do rollouts for this type of stuff. You did a pre-announcement. You weren't supposed to say nothing about that. And then you take those clips for the most part, put them in this promo, act like everybody was hating on you. Come on, man. There was no <laughs> majority of hate of people hating on you. People be wanting to create these scenarios where they swear the world is against them. Like, if that's what you need to do to fuel yourself to succeed, then, I mean, I guess, but that's, it's not the truth. It's not always the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that everybody be swearing that they have so many haters. And it's, it's, a lot of it don't even be coming from hate. It's like if you if you have an adverse opinion or a difference of opinion about something or about someone's art, about someone's music, about someone's acting or something like that, if you have a difference of opinion where you like, <clears throat> I don't like it. Everybody else is all on their team and, uh, oh, this is the greatest thing ever. you like, I don't like it as well. All of a sudden, you're a hater. <laughs> and everybody is just, uh, everybody's against me and everybody. No, that's not always how these things play out. Like, <clears throat> just, we, and then they, <laughs> and then they put the chair in the middle with the Charlemagne on the right and Envy on the left. I did, I dig, it's, it's her day or whatever, but we know who the star of the show is. Okay. Charlemagne is clearly the front runner in this show. But for all the women empowerment, y'all wanna y'all wanna do the whole hater raid thing. You know, everybody was hating on Jess and then put her in a big king chair in the middle and uh 
it uh, did it cause some stir? Yeah. Did it get a few clicks? Probably so. But was it needed? No. We love Jess. We love that Jess is um, making moves. We love that she's a black woman. She's beautiful. She's funny. She fit. She fit there. You know what I'm saying? It was a good move. So I don't get the narrative of creating all of this fake hate to act like everybody was just like hating on her. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, people have some thoughts about whatever whatever topics that she may have said or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But you take the clips and be like placing it like there's so much hate against this black woman. And this is the narrative y'all be running with. And it's not that's not it. We not hating on her. We love like we love Jess. Of course, do she have some haters? Of course she do. There's 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 a few. There's always some haters. But don't focus on the five percent of haters and act like that's ninety five percent of what's going on in your life. <clears throat> it's just not. It, it's mostly love that I've seen for Jess. I mean, she's she's funny. She's fine. I mean, listen to Shannon Sharp talk about how fine she is. You know what I'm saying? And also, <laughs> Shannon Sharp talked about Jess Hilarious, and they wanted to congratulate her as well. Ojo, oh, we got to give a congratulations to uh, Jess Hilarious. She's the new co-host of The Breakfast Club. Hey. J. Envy and Charlemagne the God. Okay. So congratulations to her. Congratulations, um, Jess. Y'all bring, yeah. bring me on. I tell you what I didn't know. Look, what I know happened? she's a comedian. Yo, she's and just, I fu just funny now. Yeah, yeah her funny, body man. ain't no laughing matter though. Excuse I didn't me? know she was like that. What? Oh, her body? Who? Like that? Like that body? Yada 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 body on body on. That's hilarious. What? Nope. You know what? Ain't nothing funny about that. Nope. I ain't know that. I did not know. Oh, I just like okay. Let me see. You know. So I, you know, I got two phones. Oh, I pull up different site. Right. I'm dropping them down. Enough. Like that? Nah, Uncle Boy. Man, I'm saying like something too. Hey, like Kyrie dribbling two basketball. Hey, man, <laughs> you gotta go. I feel like we had a cookout in the summer, and I, I gotta, gotta tell go. my partners, hey, don't be looking at my sister like that. That's wrong with you, <laughs> okay? Go. And she's young enough to be your daughter. Okay, right? yeah, okay. Shannon, you 55, <laughs> just 31. Cut it out, okay? Talk about Kyrie Irving. What the hell, Kyrie Irving got to do with this? <laughs> I want you to, I want you to see just the way Kyrie Irving sees the earth. Okay? Flat. It's flat. It's flat. You don't see nothing. Cut it out, Uncle. All right? Uh, Drop on the clues bombs for Shannon Sharp and Ocho Cinco. And then there goes Charlamagne with all this. Oh, man. Oh, oh she, uh, she 31 and you 55. So what? What you mean? That's the... Those are grown folk numbers. What are you talking about? Don't be keep trying to make this, oh, she could be your daughter. She ain't. She ain't. Okay? That's what everybody, everybody, nobody want to hear all that, Charlamagne. Quit doing that. I need to quit doing that, man. Oh, she's so much younger than you. So what? She grown and she fine. You know what I'm saying? Just because he's 55 or whatever, that don't mean he can't acknowledge that she fine or whatever, but it is what it is, man. But uh, that's what I'm just saying. It's like, it's love for Jess. It's all good. Nobody's like throwing all this shade or imaginary hate her way. Like, stop trying to run with that narrative and just admit <clears throat> Y'all had to stir up a little controversy to get a narrative. Like, cause it seemed like it was planned from the, you know, from the pre-announcement. Oh, that wasn't it. This, uh, and then let's get this footage of people talking about it and then put the clips together and blah, 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 and then put it out. So <clears throat> if it was that much hate for her, I don't think you would have had to go out your way to gather more hate for her. So quit that narrative like we ain't no Jess Larry's man. We love Jess. And we hope she keep uh keep God in her life and keep making us laugh for years to come. And and that's that's just what it is. But let me know what you think. What you don't think. It's your boy P Camp. Get at your boy.